A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is empty. Which of these vehicles off tracks the most? Five axles tractor towing a 52 feet trailer. The best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to see it in your mirrors. A tractor with a N trailer requires the shortest stopping distance. Fully loaded. How much space between should there be between the upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? None. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means that the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. You are uncoupling a loaded trailer, you should lower the landing gear until it makes firm contact with the ground, and then crank it in low in low gear a few extra turns. To be safe when driving behind other vehicles under good conditions, you leave at least one second between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for each feet of your vehicle's length. 10. You have coupled with a semi-trailer. Where should you put the front trailer supports before driving away? Fully raised with the crank handle secured in its bracket. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when it will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. You have pushed in the trailer supply valve. You should not move the tractor until the whole air system is at normal pressure. Glad hands are used for connecting service and emergency airlines from the vehicle to the trailer. What gear should the tractor transmission be in after you have uncoupled the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? Neutral. The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure there is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Compared to a straight truck or bus, there are things to inspect on a combination vehicle. More. When checking that the trailer is security coupled to the tractor, the landing gear should be slightly raised. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is at normal pressure. What part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The shank. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. There, one, keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and two, go slow around turns. When checking the trailer's emergency brakes, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in the position. Emergency.